Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at this integral and we'll be using uh, techniques, um, basically the same techniques that we've been using um, for a while now. Uh, we're going to be expressing this answer as, a, uh, as an infinite sum. Um, we'll be using the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign. We'll be using uh, Euler's formula and uh, well, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that um, we want to do to solve this is break it up into two separate integrals. And this should be familiar. The first one will go from 0 to 1. and then plus the integral from 1 to infinity of the same thing. Okay, um, performing the substitution uh, u is equal to 1 over x, um, will give you back this exact thing right here. So we can say that i is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of sine natural log x, cosine natural log x, natural log x, over x squared plus 1 dx. All right. Now, uh, using a trig identity, um, we know that 2 sine something cosine something is equal to sine of 2 something. So we can say that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of sine of 2 natural log x times natural log x over x squared plus 1 dx. All right, um, now I want to write down this identity right here. Um, the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n is going to be equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. And that's good on the interval 0 to 1. Um, also, we want to um, recall Euler's formula. It says e to the i something is equal to cosine something plus i sine of something. Um, in this case, what I'd like to do is put uh, 2 natural log x for our something. 2 natural log x, 2 natural log x. Okay. So taking the imaginary part of this will make the real part of the right-hand side drop out. So we can just say that these two things are equivalent. The imaginary part of e to the i, or I, I could just write this as e to the 2i natural log x. e to the 2i natural log x, and that's equal to sine of 2 natural log x. The imaginary part of this is equal to this. Okay, and that's exactly what we have there. All right, for our next step, what we want to do is reparameterize this by creating a function of t equal to the integral from 0 to 1, and we're just going to make it uh, x to the t over x squared plus 1 dx. And then we'll immediately use the Leibniz rule uh, for differentiation under the integral sign on our f of t to obtain f prime of t. And we will do that by taking the partial with respect to t of the integrand. So that means that our f prime in terms of t is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 
of x to the t natural log x over x squared plus 1 dx. Okay. And from here, we can see that i is going to be equal to our f prime. I'm sorry. It's going to be equal to the imaginary part of our f prime evaluated at 2i. Because if we let t equal 2i and then take the imaginary part, we get this. We get e, we get x. Oh, and I forgot to show one thing over here. Um, using the properties of logarithms, we can, um, we can make this equal to simply the imaginary part of x to the 2i. Because um, we can use the properties of logarithms to make this e to the natural log of x to the 2i, and the e in the natural log would cancel out. So the imaginary part of x to the 2i is equal to sine of 2 natural log x. So if we take the imaginary part of our function evaluated at 2i, we will get back our original integral. I hope that makes sense. All right. So no, the next step is um, to use all this to um, come up with a new expression expressed as a sum for f of t. Well, we can say that f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, and we'll leave x to the t alone. We'll leave this part alone for now, but we'll express 1 over x squared plus 1 as a sum. So we get the sum going from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n dx. And let's see, would there be any problems with convergence if we switch these? Can we take the integral from 0 to 1 of this thing? Yes, we definitely can. And can we take the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity if we brought this x to the t inside there? Yes, we could still do that. So there's no problems with convergence. Um, therefore, we can switch the integral and summation notations and uh, evaluate it like that. So if we switched the integration and summation notations and also brought that t um, into the exponent on x inside our sum right there, making it x to the 2n plus t, um, let's see. I'll just do this in my head. That's going to be equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity well, let's see, the negative 1 to the n would not change. But then we'd have x to the 2n plus t evaluated, um, integrated from 0 to 1. So that would be x to the 2n plus t plus 1 over 2n plus t plus 1 evaluated from 0 to 1. In other words, that's just going to be 1 over 2n plus... Over 2n plus 1 plus t. Is that right? Yeah. So we have x to the 2n plus t plus 1 over 2n plus t plus 1. Yeah, so the 0, uh -huh, 1 over 2n plus 1. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that's correct. So from there, um, we can take f prime of t by just taking the derivative with respect to t of the inner function right here. So a new expression or f prime of t will be, let's see, that's going to give us a negative sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n all over 2n plus 1 plus t all squared. Okay, so now all we need to do is plug in 2i into this equation right here and then take the imaginary part of it. All right, let's get started on that. Okay. So that means that I 
is going to be equal to negative. I'm sorry, let's see. Let's not find i right now. Let's find what f prime evaluated at 2i is. f prime at 2i. That's going to be equal to negative sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 plus 2i plus 1 plus 2i squared. Okay. Well, um, when working with complex numbers, we definitely don't like to have imaginary, any imaginary parts in our denominator. So what we'll do is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction right here by 2n plus 1 minus 2i squared. Alright, so it's going to give us 2n plus 1 minus 2i. Okay, all squared. Alright, so first let's figure out what this would be expanded. Well that's going to be, let's see, 2n plus 1 minus 2i all squared is going to give us 2n plus 1 all squared. Let's see. And then minus, let's see, put a parenthesis around here, minus. Four i times two n plus one, and then let's see, a minus times a minus times a minus is a minus four. Minus four. All right. What's that give us? Well, we're gonna leave it alone for now. We'll leave it like that. So this part right here is equal to this. And this right here, let's see, that's going to be equal to 2n plus 1 squared um, and then say two, and then let's see, positive negative, negative, so that's going to be a positive plus 4, and then all of that squared, all right? That's what this is going to be equal to. This squared minus this squared, and then all squared. So yeah, minus, minus, positive, positive. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so f prime evaluated at 2i is equal to negative sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of, let's see, negative 1 to the n. And then we have this thing squared, which we just said was this thing. We'll leave that alone for now. And let's get our denominator in here. Our denominator is going to be this thing, which is 2n plus 1 squared plus 4 all squared. And then, let's see, since we're going to be taking the imaginary part of this, let's just do it right now. If we took the imaginary part of f prime evaluated at 2i, we already said that gives us i. And then taking the imaginary part of what this would be if we had our numerator there, which is this. We're taking the imaginary part. So this part will drop out. This part will drop out. And we'll be left with nothing but, let's see, negative, which we'll use to cancel that. And then we'll have 4 times 2n plus 1. 
And that is the answer to that integral expressed as an infinite sum. And like I've said on this channel, I believe this is, this is good enough um, as it will very quickly allow you to obtain a value very close to the true value of our integral. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that.